Okay, so I think it's time to start. I see that some people are still joining, but uh, let's be on time. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Theodor Katsonakis. I am a technology solution engineer for Oracle Digital based in Bucharest. And today um, I have the pleasure and honor to be talking to you for the next 45 minutes or so for a topic that I'm sure is quite interesting and useful for all of you. Uh, I will turn off the video now. It's actually better for the performance of the whole presentation. So thank you for joining and I really hope that you will enjoy it. Please use the Q&A to put any questions you might have during the presentation. Me and my colleagues that are online will try to answer as many questions as possible in the Q&A during the presentation. And time permitting, we will try to give some more answers at the end of the presentation. In case there are more questions that we can answer or some that we cannot cover or that we would like to research a bit before we can get back to you with a definitive answer, we will do so with a follow-up email to the registered audience of this presentation. So let's have a few seconds to see our essential safe harbor statement. And before proceeding to today's agenda, allow me to present to you our new mission statement written by our founder, Larry Ellison. Our mission is to help people see data in new ways, discover insight and unlock endless possibilities. It truly inspires me through its simplicity and I really find it that it conveys such a powerful message. Today's presentation is in line with that statement. A range of technologies, powerful tools available for free will be shared with you. And after that presentation, my hope is that you will go and try them, get your hands on at least some of them, the most relevant for you, and the ones that you will find interesting and useful for your case, and you will be able to explore and see your data in new ways, discover insights and unlock endless possibilities. So, just to set the scene, let me introduce the areas that I will try to cover briefly so that you have an idea of what will be discussed in the next 45 minutes or so. The thing I want to talk about, obviously, is what uh, it is that Oracle provides for free. I'm sure you have all seen various announcements and information in the social media, in your mailbox, about Oracle stuff that you can start using for free. Indeed, the good news is that we have an awful lot of technology that you can adopt today for nothing and get a good value, really good value out of it. First, I will talk about our Oracle Cloud Always Free Resources and mention some popular use cases. Then I will briefly discuss the Oracle development tools that you can use for free, like Apex, Oracle SQL Developer, ORDS, the IDEs, JET, etc. Third in line will be our free data management offerings, which include Database Express Edition and MySQL Community Edition, and some offers like free Golden Gate software on OCI Marketplace, Spatial and Graph, DBSAT for existing users, etc. Virtualization will follow, covering our Oracle Linux, KVM, Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager, Oracle VM Server, and VirtualBox. A topic that I am sure will be very popular will follow, which is free online training resources and certifications. Finally, I will conclude by discussing some other stuff like free OCI credits that you can claim using Oracle for startup program and talk very briefly about the Oracle Technology Network license and the e-delivery platform that you can download our software. So let's get to our first topic, which is no other than the Oracle Cloud Always Free Resources. I'm sure that our, cloud, that our free cloud services is the best way to begin this presentation. It has the same effect on me as a strong espresso anyway. These are the free services that are always free. So all of our cloud services or almost all are free for 30 days, but we have many services that are free forever, including compute and storage. So by signing up for a cloud account today for Oracle Cloud Free Tier, you get two cloud offers in one. You receive always free access to compute virtual machines, object storage, data egress, and other essential building blocks developers need to create applications on top of Oracle Autonomous Database. Plus, you get 300 US dollars of free credits for 30 days to use even more services to prototype your own applications 
run machine learning models in notebooks or try software from Oracle Cloud Marketplace. How it works. You use your always free resources as long as you want with no time constraints, subject only to the capacity limits noted. When your 30 day trial period for the expanded set of services ends, you can continue using always free services with no interruption. Always free and free trial instances can be seamlessly upgraded to paid at any time. Existing Oracle Cloud customers have access to always free services automatically. No new sign up is required. So, if people just need a cloud service to do something like a small POC of an application they are trying to build, or indeed they just need some storage that they need to put some stuff somewhere, we have quite a lot available in free compute with two virtual machines. And I know that although one eighth of an OCPU doesn't seem like a lot, you can actually do quite a bit with that. Certainly get a pilot of an application up and running or build a very small application, for example, a departmental application something that helps you get over a particular problem that you need to solve immediately. Especially uh, then when you combine it with the free database that we offer that I will come to in a minute. What you can do, uh, you can do quite a bit with these free resources. So just to be clear, this is free forever and it always has been free since it was announced at Open World last year. It's not something new or we do it because of a crisis or anything like that. This is there always free and will remain always free when all this crisis is over. It is not a trivial amount of cloud in this offer. You can do something reasonably meaningful with it, especially if it's something that will help you get over a short term problem. Please go to the links provided in the slides and try it over. Terms and conditions and the capacity and everything you need to know to be able to use this, it's there. The second thing we have included is obviously the database. Again, uh, in the always free uh, cloud services, we give two databases, two instances of autonomous database. You can either have 280p or 280ws or one of each, and you can do quite a lot with that. So we provide 20 gigabytes of storage per database, a storage amount not insignificant at all, especially for using it, getting over a shorter problem. Keep in mind that this is our flagship database, the most technologically advanced database that we have ever created, running on the best database hardware in the industry, which is Exadata, and you can use it for free forever. Provided that you are using it, it will stay there and it will remain free. In the slide, you can, you can see a list which summarizes the Oracle Cloud always free eligible resources that you can provision in your tenancy. Apart from the compute and databases that we talked about, there's load balancing, block volume, object storage, and it's quite quite generous amount. Oracle Cloud Free is currently available worldwide, and you can check that in the data regions page for detailed service availability. If you are unable to find the country or territory you require, please contact your Oracle sales rep. The Oracle sales team can help you sign up for the Oracle Cloud Fleet free tier. So some creative ideas for start using the free tier offering include setting up a Minecraft server in the cloud, for example. It's, I know it's not going to be the fastest Minecraft server you have ever used, but it's perfect for testing out some settings or hosting uh, small games with a friend or two, and it will give you quite a few hours of fun and learning. Another one is if you are interested in creating a personal or small business blog, chances are that you are going to use WordPress. WordPress is one of the most popular blogging platforms in the world, used by over 60 million websites. In the link provided, uh, you will find a tutorial that shows you how to do step-by-step -step the complete process of deploying an image on a server using the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Console. Another idea for you is to try installing, for example, an Apache and PHP 7 on OCI for hosting your web pages. In reality, the possibilities are endless, and these are just a few ideas to start exploring the environment. I encourage you to explore the amazing new opportunities using the combined always free plus the 30 days trial offering in Oracle Cloud Free tier. I'm going to talk about the fantastic development tools like Apex in the next section and the tools that allow you to develop data centric apps using SQL Developer and Oracle REST data services but if you are a developer, you should definitely explore Oracle Cloud Marketplace for free software images, 
and get your hands on the ready to use developer cloud image that includes a bunch of developer goodies. It's really good, this one. Try developing and running Dockerized applications in Oracle Kubernetes engine and develop serverless applications using Oracle functions. You can also familiarize yourself with machine learning, with Apache, Zeppelin, ML notebooks, and try the platform services like integration, analytics, maybe the digital assistant and more. All those magical capabilities are free and are just a few clicks away and believe me, after immersing yourself in this fantastic platform, those terms which sound much less, will sound much less exotic and much more exciting. So now, now let's get to the creative side of you. In terms of application development, one of the things that lots of you will need, especially this period, is creating quick apps that you perhaps didn't know you would need to have previously. Application Express is ideal for that. For many customers, it's almost like the default thing when something happens, when they need to track data in some way, for example, uh, somebody says, let's create an Apex application. We just know it's the right answer. It always does the job and Apex is an amazing tool that we offer for that. When you need an application built really quickly, it's ideal. It can be done by a non-developer uh, since none code is required. It's available in all editions of our database, including autonomous that we have for free and always free cloud services. And it's available in the Express edition, which is also free. Oracle Application Express is a low-code development platform and enables you to build scalable, secure enterprise apps with world-class features that can be deployed anywhere. Important thing to note here is that Oracle manages the entire infrastructure of the Apex environment and customers can focus on solving the business problems instead of managing environments. So you can do a whole bunch of things with it. For example, converting a spreadsheet into an application is kind of like the easiest possible thing to do. We, all of us have lots of spreadsheets that we have just become, that they have just become unmanageable just because they grow so big and complicated. You can very quickly and easily convert them into an application and put a nice user interface on it, make sure that the data is consistent, make sure it's easier to use and update, and so and it's a very simple thing you can do. You can also create applications based on uh, sample applications that we also provide. A list of uh, some of them includes data reporters, project tracking, group calendar, surveys, customer trackers, etc. There is a whole bunch of other ones. You just need to go to the Apex page to find out which they are. These are applications that are pre-built and you just need to install the application, delete the test data that comes with it, which is the demo stuff, and start using it right away. And then if you need to add some functionality into it or customize it in any way, it is really dead easy. It's widely used to rapidly build applications that are needed as up to meet changing business requirements and maximize competitive advantage. As I said, it has also quite a rich reporting capabilities in there, uh, both in terms of plain reporting, but also graphs, charts, and quite a lot of advanced reporting and visuals. And you can integrate that as part of your applications you built purely from within Apex without having to use any other analytic tool whatsoever. Oracle Apex is a fully supported, no cost feature of Oracle Database. This means that if you have Oracle Database, you already have Apex. You can simply download and install it and on, your, on your existing database. One of its greatest advantages is that you have native access to all the capabilities of the database. The motto for Oracle Apex is build enterprise applications 20 times faster with 100 times less code. It is an extremely useful thing to try and I would try it first thing after we finish this presentation with Oracle Cloud Free Tier. Now, let's get to other tools that uh, you will want to explore. Just let me first check uh, in the chat if there is something. Okay. So let's talk about Oracle SQL Developer. 
Oracle SQL Developer is a free integrated development environment that simplifies the development and management of Oracle database in both traditional and cloud deployments. It's free, it's graphical tool, and it enhances productivity and simplifies database development tasks. SQL Developer offers complete end-to-end -end development of your PL SQL applications for those of you that are really into that, a worksheet for running queries and scripts, a DBA console for managing the database, reports interface, a complete data modeling solution, and a migration platform for moving your third-party databases to Oracle. With SQL Developer, you can browse database objects, run SQL statements and SQL scripts, edit and debug PLSQL statements, manipulate and export data, and view and create reports. You can connect to Oracle databases, and you can connect also to selected third-party non-Oracle databases and view metadata and data and migrate these databases to Oracle. SQL Developer also integrates interfaces into several related technologies, including Data Miner, OLAP, Oracle Times 10 in-memory database, and uh, Oracle SQL Developer Data Modeler. Let's see that one in a little bit more detail. Oracle SQL Developer Data Modeler is a data modeling and database design tool that provides an environment for capturing, modeling, managing, and exploring metadata. It is free, it is, it is free, and you can use it to increase developer productivity by providing the means to develop logical, multidimensional, user-defining data, user data types, relational and physical data models. The tool provides full forward engineering, including engineering from logical and relationship diagram models to relational models, and the reverse, importing from the data dictionary and DDL script generation. Data modeler imports from and exports to a variety of sources and targets, provides a variety of formatting options, and validates the models through a predefined set of design rules. It's a really fascinating tool. I recommend that you go to the documentation and check out the tutorial provided there about modeling for a small database. You will be able to see the potential of that tool by playing we're using data modeler to create models for a simplified library database, which is used as an example. And it, you will be able to include entries for books, patrons, which are the people who have library cards, transactions, checking out a book, returning a book, and so on. You will be performing major tasks like the developing the logical model, developing the relational model, generate the data definition language statements, and save the design. It's the kind of stuff that can make your days quite interesting this period, for sure. Uh, let's see some more development tools available for free uh, in the next slide. And let's talk about the REST, uh, uh, the ORDS service. So REST access to your table data for create, read, update, and delete operations is a common need for most web applications. Uh, the Oracle REST data service, or ORDS, enables users to turn their Oracle databases into modern RESTful API services. It is uh, a Java Enterprise Edition-based data service that provides enhanced security, file caching features, and RESTful web services. ORDS is a powerful tool that enables users to turn their Oracle databases into highly scalable and secure enterprise-grade RESTful API services, since it enables uh, REST access to your Oracle database tables, views, and program units with literally no coding. You can easily create more complex enterprise-grade custom REST services using just your SQL and PLSQL skills. ORDS also provides increased flexibility by supporting deployments using Oracle WebLogic Server. Apache Tomcat and the standalone mode. Another one is NetBeans. I'm sure all of you know it, but for those that uh, you don't, NetBeans uh, IDE is a free and open source integrated development environment for application development on Windows, Mac, Linux, Solaris operating systems, etc. This IDE simplifies the development of web enterprise, desktop, and mobile apps that use the Java and HTML5 platforms. 
the IDE also offers support for the development of PHP and C or C++ applications. NetBeans IDE offers first-class tools for Java web, enterprise, desktop, and mobile application development, and it's consistently the first IDE to support the latest versions of the JDK, Java Enterprise Edition, and Java FX. It provides smart overviews to help you understand and manage your applications, including out-of-the-box support for popular technologies such as Maven. With its end-to-end -end application development features, constantly proving Jada, Java, Java Editor and continual speed and performance enhancement, NetBeans IDE sets the standards for application development with cutting edge technologies out of the box. Oracle Database can be registered and accessed directly from the IDE. The IDE supports both OCI and thin JDBC connections to the Oracle Database. Full data access features are provided out of the box, such as the ability to read, create, update, and delete data directly within the IDE, supported by features such as SQL Editor. The Oracle WebLogic application server can be registered in the IDE and applications can be deployed to it. Deployed applications together with the related resources can be viewed in the IDE. The Oracle Java Cloud Service offers enterprise hosting of Java Enterprise Edition applications and you can connect to the Oracle Java Cloud Service directly uh, from the ID for easy deployment. Another free ID that you might want to try for developing your Java apps is JDeveloper. Oracle JDeveloper is free integrated development environment that simplifies the development of Java-based applications addressing every step of the application lifecycle. JDeveloper offers complete end-to-end -end development for Oracle's platform and Oracle's applications. Now, in this section, uh, would, uh, this section wouldn't be complete if there was no mention to Oracle JavaScript Extension Toolkit, JET, which is targeted at JavaScript developers working on client-sided applications. It's a collection of open source JavaScript libraries along with a set of Oracle contributed JavaScript libraries that make it as simple and efficient as possible to build applications that consume and interact with Oracle products and services, especially Oracle cloud services. It's modular, it's open source, it's toolkit based, and it supports JavaScript, CSS3, and HTML design and development principles. Having covered, I believe, a range of tools for your development needs, I should move on to our next exciting free offers topic, which is in the area of data management. So what do we offer in terms of uh, other free databases that you can try be, uh, beyond our free tier, which includes the autonomous database? The other things we have beyond the free tier is Oracle Database Express Edition. This is the Enterprise Database Edition with all the database options. Whether you are a developer, a DBA, a data scientist, an educator, or just curious about databases, Oracle Database Express Edition is the ideal way to get started. It is the same powerful Oracle database that enterprises rely on worldwide, packaged for simple download, ease of use, and a full-featured experience you get an Oracle database to use in any environment, plus the ability to embed and redistribute, all completely free. You can have 12 gigabytes of user data, two gigabytes of RAM, two CPU threads, and you can do really quite a lot with that. Now, of course, there are some terms and conditions in there, but again, to get something up and running and get through some short-term problem really quickly, it includes a, lo a lot of uh, very, very clever technology, like multi-tenant, in-memory, partitioning, advanced analytics, advanced security, all those features, and so on. You can put it in your own data center, on-prem, or you can put it in a VM in our cloud and experiment with all those DB options and features. It's a full enterprise edition database, completely for free, with some restrictions on how big it can get, of course, and how much scale it can have. As always, please read the terms and conditions before using it so that it is clear what are the limitations. And uh, if you want to check the 11G for whatever reason, the older edition, there are different limits there. It's four gigabytes of data, one gigabyte RAM, and there are no options. 
So just allow me first to check if there's something in the chat. Okay. So why you should use the Express Edition? It has something for everybody, really. I'm not going to go through the whole list, but for, for example, developers, if you are a developer and you want to learn SQL on the world's leading relational database or experiment with Oracle uh, native support for JSON documents and spatial and graph data, you can do that there. You can, uh, as we said, you can experiment with uh, Apex or on top of ORDS and uh, develop your application. If you are a data scientist and um, you want to play with the sheer analytic power, Express Edition has it. Uh, you can dam dramatically accelerate queries on large data sets using Oracle in memory, uh, the column store, and reduce complex analysis to concise SQL statements with advanced analytics, including data mining SQL. For DBA, there's lots of stuff there. You can test. Uh, drive advancement in uh, the database uh, and uh, play with all these features, manage multiple Oracle databases in one place with the multi-tenal pluggable database and familiarize yourself with that. Uh, you can back up uh, and, and see how RMAN works and experiment with that. You can see for security and compliance, encrypt data at rest with uh, the transparent data encryption and set database audit policies to track data access and configure database vault to prevent unauthorized access by privileged users. So this is, is a very good environment to play and experiment with all those features. For ISVs, it's really good this one. It, uh, if, if you are an ISV in need of a database with all of the features and you have a small footprint for that application, then uh, you can do that with the Express Edition. You can embed it in your software and distribute it and install on customer premises for proof of concept. Deliver comprehensive prototypes to your prospects. All, all that subject to the terms and conditions that we will talk at the end of this presentation. Another one is MySQL Community Edition. This is one of the most, if not certainly the first one that comes to my mind, popular databases for web development and it has been around for a very, very long time, since 1995, I think. MySQL Community Edition is uh, there always for free. It uh, gets some tens of thousands of downloads per day, I think. It comes with support from the community, so you can ask for your questions uh, the community. They will get answered. It doesn't come with enterprise support or anything like that. But again, for customers that just need a database that will get them out of a particular problem, it's probably ideal. Uh, the MySQL Community Edition has many enterprise features like partitioning, replication, cluster support. It's uh, SQL and NoSQL for developing both relational and NoSQL applications. It has a, host, uh, a whole lot of features, triggers to enforce complex business rules, views to ensure sensitive information is not compromised. Uh, lots of connectors, uh, the workbench for visual modeling and SQL development and administration. So it's available on uh, over 20 platforms and operating systems, including Linux, Unix, Macs, Windows, all the standards. So have, it, have a look at that, it's really interesting. And now allow me to talk uh, for a few other offerings that come for free and you might uh, find useful if you already use one of the databases. Oracle Golden Gate. Who hasn't heard about Oracle Golden Gate? It's a software product that allows you to replicate, filter, and transfer data from one database to another database. It enables replication of data between Oracle databases and other supported heterogeneous databases. You can use Golden Gate to meet business requirements such as business continuity and high availability, initial load and database migration and upgrades with zero downtime, data integration, and live reporting. For those applications, it's, it's really, really good. Some reasons to use Golden Gate include uh, data movement uh, in real time, and it, it reduces latency for that. It 
that uh, only committed transactions are moved, especially consistency and improving performance. And um, for different versions and releases of Oracle databases, uh, all of them are supported, along with a variety of heterogeneous databases running on ver various operating systems. It uses a simple architecture and has very easy configuration, relatively easy configuration. It has high performance and minimal overhead for the underlying database and infrastructure. So, Golden Gate software must be deployed using OCI Marketplace image. That's what the offering we're talking about in this slide for the OCI Marketplace image. And you will need to pay for only the basic OCI infrastructure cost that you will install that. Uh, for example, the compute, storage, network, etc. So in case you are interested in this, I urge you to visit the offer page and to read the terms of use for the Oracle program, which is under the limited use term license promotion and take full advantage of it. You can talk to us, you can talk to our sales lab and see more details about this offer. Uh, I would now like to talk about two more tools that you can use for free and they are related to your overall security posture of your existing database infrastructure. With data breaches growing every day, along with the evolving set of data protection and privacy regulation, protecting business sensitive and regulated data is mission critical. However, knowing whether the database is securely configured, who can access it and where sensitive personal data resides is a challenge for most people and most organizations. As part of Oracle's defense in depth capabilities, the Oracle Database Security Assessment Tool, as we call it DBSAT, helps identify areas where your database configuration operation or implementation introduces risks and recommends changes and controls to mitigate those risks. The DBSAT is a standalone command line tool that accelerates the assessment and regulatory compliance process by collecting relevant types of configuration information from the database and evaluating the current security state to provide recommendations on how to mitigate the identified risks. DBSAT is provided at no additional cost and it enables customers to quickly find and uh, gives advice on how to remediate the reported issues. It, uh, it reports security configuration issues and how to remediate them, uh, users and their entitlements, location, type and quantity of safe, sensitive data. DBSAT analyzes information on the database and listener configuration to identify configuration settings that may unnecessarily introduce risk. It goes beyond simple configuration checking, however. It examines user accounts, privilege and role grants, authorization control, separation of duties, fine-grained access control, data encryption and key management, auditing, auditing policies and OS file permissions. It's really powerful. DBSAT applies rules to quickly assess the current security status of a database and produce findings in all the areas above. For each finding, it recommends remediation activities and follow best practices to reduce or mitigate the risk. So please have a look at that in case you have a database running currently and uh, you have uh, no real uh, feeling on uh, what's the security posture you can use that and uh, get some really good insight. Another tool is Oracle DataSafe, uh, which is a unified control center for managing database security in the Oracle Cloud, it's for cloud. DataSafe provides an integrated set of features enabling users to understand the sensitivity of their data, evaluate risks to data, mask sensitive data, you can use that for masking sensitive data, uh, implement and monitor security control, assess user security, monitor user activity, and address data security compliance requirements. Guys, check out those tools. Talk to us in case you need more help on, uh, in any case, your findings show something that concerns you. We're here to help and advise you. Completing this section by moving on to another great offer that's currently free for you to try. Special and Graph. 
In keeping with the Oracle mission to help people see data in new ways, discover insights, unlock endless possibilities, customers wishing to use the special and graph feature of Oracle database are no longer required to purchase additional licenses. You can use that for free. At the simplest level, spatial analysis enables better understanding of complex interactions based on geographic relationships, and this can be important to virtually every application. It can uh, help provide better customer service, optimize the workforce, easily locate retail and distribution centers, evaluate sales and marketing campaigns, just to name a few. Typical use cases of graph analysis included uh, identifying influencers in a network, discover graph patterns in a network of people and generate recommendation in a e shop, for example, based on what other buyers with similar characteristics prefer, etc. This used to be a paid option of Oracle Database Enterprise Edition, but from December the 5th, 2019, it's included in Oracle Database for free. Now, off to our next topic, which is virtualization and what free goodies we provide there. Operating systems, containers, and virtualization are the fundamental building blocks of modern ID infrastructure. Oracle combines them all into one integrated offering, Oracle Linux. Operating on your choice of hardware, in your data center or in the cloud, Oracle Linux provides the reliability, scalability, security, and performance for demanding enterprise workloads. Oracle Linux is based on Red Hat source, but heavily contributed by Oracle, adding even more enterprise features. Oracle Linux maintains application compatibility with Red Hat and adds unbreakable enterprise kernel support, which uh, requires, however, paid support, but allows zero downtime security update to kernel without rebooting. But it's still 100% compatible with Red Hat. Oracle Cloud runs on Oracle Linux. Oracle engineered systems run on Oracle Linux. Oracle internal systems run on Oracle Linux. Oracle products are developed on Oracle Linux. Oracle database runs perfectly on Oracle Linux. Try it today, no license fee is required, but however, if you need the support, this is optional and it's paid separately. On top of that, there is no time for me to speak about, to talk about uh, the autonomous Linux, but try that out. Also Oracle Linux is the only autonomous operating system currently, automatic provisioning, automatic scaling, tuning, patching, updating, security, it's fantastic. Just try it out. In Oracle Linux, it's Oracle Linux KVM, which is a feature that has been delivered and fully supported as part of Oracle Linux. With the release of the unbreakable enterprise kernel release five, the Oracle, the Oracle Linux server virtualization solution with KVM has been enhanced. KVM is the same hypervisor used in Oracle Cloud infrastructure, giving users an easy migration path to move workloads into Oracle Cloud in the future. Another important thing that Oracle Linux KVM was recently added to the list of permitted hard partitioning technologies that allows customers to manage their Oracle database licensing costs with some extra configuration, of course, which is required. Um, so in case you need to optimize your current uh, estate and see uh, how to manage hard partitioning in order to manage your licensing, you, you could try that. It's approved now. As regards how to manage that infrastructure, Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager is a new server virtualization management platform that can be easily deployed to configure, monitor, and manage uh, an Oracle Linux kernel-based virtual machine KVM environment with enterprise-grade performance and support from Oracle. Both Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager and Oracle Linux can be downloaded, used, and distributed free of charge, and all updates and errata are freely available. It is free, no license fee. Support is paid, but it is optional, and it's much less than, than, than the Red Hat support. For Oracle VM Server for x86, 
it is a zero license cost server virtualization and management solution that makes enterprise applications easier to deploy, manage and support. It's backed uh, worldwide by affordable enterprise quality support for both Oracle and non-Oracle environment. And Oracle VM reduces operations and support costs while increases IT efficiency and agility. With Oracle VM server, you get high performance and scalability, low overhead architecture. It's based uh, on the Xen hypervisor, which provides scalable performance under increasing workloads, supports up to 384 physical CPUs and six terabytes of memory, which is really a lot uh, with each guest VM, supporting up to 256 virtual CPUs. It's, uh, you can check the numbers there. And uh, talking about uh, visualization on the server side, you could also, although this is designed for server virtualization, we have also Oracle VM VirtualBox, which brings virtualization to your desktop. If you are a developer, it's really useful for that. You can run almost any type of application on your existing machine and quickly and easily try out new platforms, create multi-platform test and development environments, and build a multi-tier demo system on a single portable machine, extend the lifetime of usefulness of existing computers, and run legacy platforms and applications on modern hardware. Check both of uh, those products, and depending on your needs, try them out. And that brings us to the next section, which is what resources we provide online for free for your learning and certification. What we offer here is probably of interest to many people working from home and are hopefully able to save some time from their commute these days. And there's probably a lot of technical people out there uh, who might want to catch up on a little, a little on uh, learning. And again, these are free education things that we offer like learning and certification. From uh, March uh, the 30th until May the 15th, we you can have free access to more than 50 hours of online training and to six certification exams. It's worth more than a thousand euro in value as exam vouchers. You just need to get a free Oracle single sign-on account and go there in the email, verify your, your account. And then in the second step, you just access the learning paths, the one that uh, is more relevant to you through the links that we provide in the slide and you will get later. You can try Oracle Autonomous Database Specialist Certification, OCI Foundations Associate Certification, OCI Cloud Operations Associate, OCI Developer Associate, Architect Associate and Architect Professional. This is really a unique opportunity and I encourage you to try that out. So you, you finish your uh, training there and then you can register and take your free certification exam. Uh, if you have a Pearson View account, you just log in. If not, you just create a new web account on, uh, on this page and you follow the instructions. It's uh, really simple. So uh, the training is, uh, is, is really valuable resource there to make uh, learning easier for everyone. We have uh, included the same content that uh, we use in our classrooms online for free. Uh, we have more than 150 videos and uh, the content is really rich for you to consume at your own pace. It's uh, divided into levels, level 100, which is the foundational level, level 200, which is the advanced level, 300, the expert, and uh, these levels allow learners to progress from the basics of cloud through advanced deployment and best practices for challenging workload scenarios. Uh, its sub-module is typically shorter than 15 minutes, so you can watch it uh, one or two sub-modules during your commute or lunch break or between meetings. And uh, it's, it's, really, it's really good. Uh, I, I've been doing uh, training in areas that I wouldn't imagine that I would be uh, interested in the past and it's really fun. Every module ends with an assessment so you can evaluate your grasp of the concepts and if you miss anything, you can just review it again. So just try it out guys, it's really good. 
another interesting site for your learning is uh, Live SQL. Check that out as well. Uh, you can use that site to learn SQL with tutorials for all levels of expertise, from novice to expert. You can practice new features, test, experiment, analytic views, or aggregate functions, etc. There are sample schemas for you to, to try. And it's really like a gym. It has works out, workouts, classes, and expertise through exercise. So this brings us to our last section where I want to talk about how you can download software from Oracle, what you need to pay attention to in terms of licensing, and then conclude with a nice offer that we have in case you have a startup. So let's get to it. Uh, one of the good reasons why to download Oracle software for, from Oracle sites, you have to accept proper license agreement for a given product. This way, you always know what you can and what you can't do. So before downloading any product software for installation and use it for testing and learning purposes, you will need to read and understand the OTN license and be sure that you comply with the terms and conditions. In general, you can download almost every Oracle technology software. As you are getting the benefit from running the Oracle software, most likely you need some kind of commercial license. Always read the license agreement before the download. Always check what kind of license you will use. I'm not going to read the, the slide, but please pay attention to that. I have also highlighted in, with red uh, the importance a really important part and be uh, where you uh, before you try anything uh, check out the oracle it's really important so where would you go to download all that software that we have been talking about e-delivery is the simple source to download oracle technology products paid and free ones uh, you just need an Oracle account to sign in and check out that e-delivery link and download the software that you are looking for from a reliable and trusted source. Oracle recommends that you use the download manager to download your files and uh, wget options link, uh, uh, link enables users to create wget download scripts for you that, uh, for all those of you that use uh, wget. So check out that uh, link and download your software from there. Uh, by always accepting the right uh, license agreement. So one more thing before we go. In case you have a startup, please check out the Oracle startup program and join. It has a whole lot of wonderful stuff, free credits, special discounts and more to help get you started. So check out that link. In case you have a startup, you can get 500 uh, US dollars for free cloud credits with an option to apply for more. And uh, please go there, visit that site, explore it and get all the details. It's uh, really, really useful. Closing, probably many of you today, uh, recapping, uh, need to find a new way to work, have to work in a different way under the current circumstances, get some things done fast, create some new applications just to deal with some particular issue in your business or for your customers. Probably, probably there are uh, a lot of uh, new things that you were completely not expecting to have to deal with and it could be that Oracle software, Oracle technology could be very, very useful at this point for you to get something done in a hurry without having to spend any money. I invite you to explore the offerings that we were, that were presented today and choose the one that fit your needs. I'm sure that there's something for you there that can help you today and for the future. And allow me to finish uh, this presentation with a slide, one more slide. Developers and students want free cloud services to get hands-on experience with Oracle's Generation 2 cloud infrastructure and the world's first autonomous database? Introducing the Oracle Cloud Free Tier. It's easy to sign up and there's new cloud services that are always free for you to use. Give Oracle Autonomous Database a try for transactional and analytic workloads. Prototype your own development environment on compute VMs and develop and install software that you may need for building and deploying applications. 
When you sign up, you get the essentials you need. need to build and test applications in the cloud, including two compute instances, NVMe SSD powered block storage, high bandwidth object storage, enterprise grade virtual networks and load balancing, and free bandwidth. Operate these always free cloud infrastructure resources by console, APIs, and SDKs, or automate it all with Terraform. And best of all, you also get two free instances of Oracle Autonomous Database. With new always free Oracle Autonomous Database, you can run both autonomous transaction processing and autonomous data warehouse. They come preloaded with a REST-based data management interface, built-in SQL Developer IDE, and Oracle Apex for rapidly building data-centric apps that look beautiful on desktop and mobile browsers. You also get powerful tools and utilities plus drivers for all your favorite programming languages. It's all built on Oracle, the world's number one SQL database. You'll also get free credits to spend on paid services for even more possibilities. When you're ready to take a project running on always free services to the next level, it's easy to upgrade to a paid subscription and get access to our complete stack of fast and scalable data management, infrastructure developer, and analytics services. Sign up now to get all of these free benefits and more. Learn, experiment, and start developing with everything Oracle Cloud Infrastructure and Oracle Autonomous Database have to offer. Visit oracle.com slash cloud slash free to get it today. So that's the presentation from me. Let me check if something is in the Q&A. Yeah, I see that there is a question as regards the uh, presentation. I guess that it will be shared with you. At the end, uh, a PDF will be sent in case uh, you need that. Uh, that's all from me. I see there are no more questions. Thank you very much for your time. I wish, you a, uh, I wish that you have a very good weekend. For those of you that uh, celebrate with Bank Holiday, Happy Easter. And uh, thank you again for uh, your time today. Have a good day. Bye.